Good evening, everyone. I'm Joanna Jubilis. We are live at Town Hall with Belmont Media Center, and we're here to report the results of the town election. It's Tuesday, April 2nd, 2024. Joining me tonight are my co-hosts, C. Rosales and Anne-Marie Mahoney, and together we will be bringing the results. I don't know if you're able to see, but we have whiteboards and we are ready to tally up the results from each of the precincts. We have res uh, volunteers at each of the eight precincts to report the results to us for the three townwide contested races, which are select board, school committee, and town moderator. And then we have two questions on the ballot. The big one is the override. Will it pass? Yes or no? $8.4 million override. We'll be reporting those results. And the assessor question, which is whether or not uh, the assessor should be elected or appointed. And I think you've heard enough from me, so now I'm going to turn it over to Steve Rosales. Well, there you go. Hey, thank you, Joanna. <laughs> thank Hello, you, Joanna. Anne Marie. Hi, Steve. Good nice to be with to you, you again. It's election day. It's a tingling day. Here I don't we know. are. I ran a bunch of uh, campaigns, one good, one bad. But the feeling of election day and the anticipation is still there. Something. It's still there. You were more no popular than me because you won it very nicely. So, uh, oh, stop. But, well, I uh, had a number of uncontested, so I got a free ride a few times. Well, but there were, from what I understand, my memory is 4,200 mail out, mail ballots got mailed out. ballots, that's right. How right. many came back, I don't know. That's but the there question. was a difference between this round and uh, the November 2021, right. where it was a Tuesday, it was election day. But if the ballot was the ballot was postmarked by today, yet right. received on that Friday, it was it's going to still, still counting. counting. Right. Today, what I understand from uh, town clerk is that the ballot got to be in the ballot box or in the office, postmarked or not, by eight o'clock today. Three if minutes came, ago. Yeah. <laughs> if you came today, right now, in with your ballot, Too bad. you'd be out. Anything that comes tomorrow or the next day. Not counted. Too bad. The town clerk staff, they check signatures, they validate that it's been signed correctly and dated correctly and postmarked correctly, and then they deliver, I guess they deliver them deliver to... Deliver to the individual precincts. You've worked that. So then, I've worked that for a few years, yes, and then, so the precinct workers then take them, mark the books, mark that the person has in fact voted, and then it goes into the machine just yeah, like a regular ballot. feed it into the machine. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited, I, and, and I'm nervous. It's like it's a nail biter just waiting for these results. <laughs> it usually is not this exciting. I mean, yeah. think of all the years where there have not been a contested select board race or a school committee race, and certainly many years without any yeah. ballot questions. And why is that? Are people afraid to run? It's a huge commitment. It is it, a huge either commitment. Either of those two offices, select board or school committee, is a huge commitment in time, in energy, in right. expertise, right. and just to get elected if it's contested, it's also pretty expensive. That's right. And I think that makes people pause a little bit before they jump in. I really don't have much of a feel. You've got a feel on the electorate? I don't. I really don't. As I started to say earlier, um, my, my intel from the various precincts was that in the morning up until about noontime, it was a little quiet and most of the people coming out were older. Um, and then sometime, probably mid-afternoon, it really picked up. And I suspect those are the parents picking up kids and whatnot, people coming home from work. Right, so, I noticed that too. No, I, I think the, the uh, override question is going to be very close. I, I don't have a sense. I don't know. There's a lot of confusion in people's minds about the tax rate versus the assessed value. You know, I'm seeing charts that were being posted about, oh, the tax rate, Belmont is so low, what's everyone complaining about? Well, sure, when the value is so high, the rate can be lower. But what you're looking at is the actual assessed value. That's where you're getting your tax dollars, not the rate. Well, that, I think, is, is part of the reason that uh, I like an elected assessor board. Right. But that's, you know, they said it. They're not beholden to anybody except the voters. Right. They have to answer to the voters, and I don't see any reason why we have to give up that control. Nobody wanted a campaign really against, for, for or against it, uh, but I think it's worked well. Then there's the flip side. So if you seek an abatement, right. you have to appear. If you say, oh, my assessment, as determined by the elected assessors, is too high for whatever reason. Right. It's disproportionate. The house across to the, the street neighborhood. is this one. Right. Uh, is all these things wrong? It's just too high. You can file for an abatement, yep. a reduction. 
And who decides that? At least the first wipe, and that's the elected board of assessors. Yeah. Um, I don't know what, I'd like to think that an appointed board of assessors would be just as impartial, but who are they answering to? Not the voters. Oh, an appointed? No. And so you do have to wonder, are they answering to the select board who's appointing them, as opposed to the voters, the homeowners, the people so directly affected? If the town needs money, are you more... And again, it's just sort of a... It, it seems to be an inherent conflict. If the town needed more money, I would think the potential uh, bias would be to deny an abatement. Right. Then people have to have relief and go to court, and they're not really going to, not many do that uh, by a certain po point in time. So I, I don't know, it just, everybody seems to bow at the altar of we'll the see. Collins report, and who are they? Well, Bunch of consultants, right. who and, knows? And I have to, if I can quote, Smart our, people, but, I quote our friend Mark Palillo, the Collins report is not the Bible. Yeah, well, a lot of valuable information. I get it. But I think we get to pick and choose which of that information we're going to mm. follow because that's what's best for Belmont we'll versus see. what some consultants yeah, telling we'll us. We'll see how it goes. There's we my sure <laughs> Nobody's happier right now than yeah, Mark right. Palolo. How are you, my friend? Oh, nice to you see you. Nice look at you. Look, look very handsome. Well, oh, yes, I, I am very handsome. Voted, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I just wanted to throw that compliment in just in case. <laughs> it's just, just, it's good I just wanted the question to be it's a little bit easier. This one. No, yeah. it's, yeah, I didn't really mean we, it. We I just can beat on you now. I don't have to suck up to you anymore. You, you can't do anything for us. I'm not sure, and I'm really all that happy. I'm actually feeling somewhat melancholy about leaving. And, uh, but seriously, it's a long time. Four How many terms, years total? Four yeah, terms, four terms, twelve, so 12 years. That's and, a lot. Um, and then you stepped feeling, down and you came back. I came back. And, uh, you um, lost a moment of lucidity there. You actually yeah, came back. Right. Uh, Despite your weakness. friends trying to talk you out of it. Well, don't uh, do it. Tom Caputo, who's hopefully watching tonight, decided um, he'd want to run again. Wanted spend more time with his young family. Uh, he and I chatted about it and um, didn't really want to come back per se, um, but I clearly wanted to serve and we, we canvassed a number of folks and see yeah. if they had an interest. If you remember, it was a really difficult time. It was coming out of COVID, difficult to run a campaign during that time. And so yeah. I stepped up and fortunately, you know, I was unopposed uh, and, and got back in. And, uh, Tough to did, lose that one. Yeah, right. And, and yeah, so four <laughs> terms. I'm going to miss it. I, I, it's been an honor and a privilege to serve for the four terms that I've served. Emory, we both, all yeah, three of all us are, are, are right. alumni now, right. I guess, right, as members of the board. And, um, you know, last night as I was leaving um, and saying, well, I'm never going to do this again. Yeah. And uh, I'll miss the policy issues. I think we had a uh, pretty good run. I, I actually enjoyed this last term. I was telling, I was holding a sign down in Precinct 8. It's pretty cold out there, actually. Uh, yeah. And um, <clears throat> I actually thought, I felt you know, if I thought about the four terms, I think this was the best term. I enjoyed it the Good. most. Because I think as you serve longer, you get more experience, you get your feet underneath you, you understand how to hopefully govern more effectively. And I think we accomplished a well, lot this term. And I you know? think you develop a perspective. You know, you develop a little bit of wisdom and a little bit of perspective that the little stuff doesn't make you crazy so yeah, much. And you're able to just focus on the really big, important issues. I think that's absolutely right, Amory. My name is Robert McKee, and I'm the warden of Precinct 2 at today's April 2nd, 2024 town election. For moderator, Widmer, 557, Crowley, 316. No write-ins. For select board, Alex Howard, 68. Jeff Jeffrey Lubian, 428. Matthew Scott Taylor, 345, two write-ins. Override, yes, 502, no, 519, blank votes, seven. Did you say 519? Yes, 502, 519, and seven blank. Assessor, yes, 447, no, 493, blank votes, 88, and that's it. Your name is? Dylan. Dylan, nice to meet you, Dylan. And you are? Lila. Lila. Well, welcome. This is pretty exciting that your daddy's running for school committee, huh? Yeah. All what right. Grade, what grade are you in? I'm in fourth grade. I'm in first grade. All right. Very good. Go. How are you, Matt? I'm doing well. It's nice to see you. Pleasure. So far, so good. Yeah. Only seven to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A long way to go. Right. So you won? Two so far. Well, there you that's go. Right. Uh, that that's right. good because he lives in Precinct 1. So that's, good. that's a good sign. What do you think about Dad running? He's going to win. 
He's going to win. <laughs> there you go. All this right. A, he's a good campaigner. There you go. <laughs> Select board there, precinct date, Mr. Howard, 63, Mr. Lubian, 337, and Mr. Taylor, 358. That race is tightening up a little bit. Right. My, my in-house accountant tells me <laughs> it's, it's very close. I'll just put it that way. Uh, what do, and uh, so the override question at eight, a yes, 506, and a no, 392. Interesting. Assessor? Tight. Basically tight, very tight, tight. tight. We yeah. could be like uh, uh, they're doing be on it, Fox or CNN. Yeah. We could probably do that. Yeah, there you go. And I think we it's could probably do that. Yay, I figure eight. we could probably do this, and we could probably do this. Precinct three, guys. All right, hang on. Um, precinct three. Yeah, I think we're uh, Mr. Abercrombie, precinct three, two eighty-three. Mr. Kraft, four sixty-nine, and Ms. Moriarty, four eighty-four. That that holds. That trend holds. Yes. I think that's going to hold. And yes. uh, we have precinct yeah. three. Was this was pre this? What are you putting in? Crowd. What are we putting in? What did you just put in? Three. Yeah, I got uh, it. You need to do three, four. Uh, three is uh, the select board. Mr. Howard, sixty-five. Mr. Lubian, two seventy-one, and Mr. Taylor, three sixty-seven. And town moderator here again, precinct three, three eighteen. Mr. Crowley, three ninety-nine. Mr. Widmer. That prediction holds. School committee prediction holds with one left to go. So without further ado, out of uh, Belmont's 18,336 uh, registered voters, 9,230. Thank you, that's very kind. 9,230 people voted today um, and over the past few weeks which totals to about 50.34%, um, which is an excellent turnout and good for Belmont So um, for an important election. So let's go through um, the town-wide races, uh, be quick about those. I'll start with, I guess, contested races. We'll move to the uncontested races, then uh, I will go to the two questions, and then I'll come back to a uh, town meeting. So for moderator, uh, moderator Michael Widmer, 4656. Michael Crowley, 3248, write ins 19, blank votes 1307. Select board, Matthew Taylor, 3851, Jeffrey Lubian, 3239, Alex Howard, 659, write ins 18, blank votes 1463. Uh, members of the school committee, Megan Moriarty, 5354, Matthew Kraft, 5176, Angus Abercrombie, 2792, write ins 30, blank votes 5108. Um, and now, questions. People are interested in those. We'll do that first, and then we will return to uh, town meeting. So, for question one, which is the uh, override, yes, 5120. No, four zero five zero. Uh, blank vote six zero. Question two, which is the uh, assessors, four two one eight. Yes, four two one zero. No, blanks eight o two. Thank you, Ellen. And of course, all of these results will be on the town clerk's uh, page on the town website under election results. Now we have. Matt Taylor, uh, who won the select board seat. Matt, congratulations! Yeah, it's still it's still sinking in. Yeah, it's been, it's been, I, I uh, want to ask you, how, like, how do you feel? I mean, where did you think? What did you think the outcome would be today? Were you confident? Were you not sure? You know, it, it was a lot like New England weather. It changed minute to minute. Um, you know, it's this was an example of uh, I think you know good democracy. You know, all of us we ran on our strengths. Um, we, we appealed to a wide range of voters. We talked about, you know, our vision for Belmont, and, you know, it, it became about all of us, right? You know, all, all residents, all community members, and, you know, how, and how we're going to come together for the brightest Belmont possible. And I'm just really grateful uh, for, for the outcome, you know, uh, the, especially around question one. Uh, you know, it, all of our work gets harder uh, if the override had been defeated. But we also have to then take care of our residents who are struggling. This really is about all of us as well. 
So I'm ready to do the work. Uh, you know, it's still processing, um, but I'm very excited. Um, well, first I gotta say I am, first and foremost, I'm very happy the override passed. I think that was something I was very concerned about, and I put that even above my own campaign and being concerned. Um, that being said, what I've said in my campaign, the work has just started. The override is one step to give us a pause. There's a lot of work of fiscal, fiscal discipline, reining our expenses, and managing to the revenue. And if we don't do that collectively, we're going to be in trouble. So I've, I've, stuck, I've stuck to that, and I'm as Warren Committee Chair through this season. One more year on the Warren Committee, I will continue to preach that. And uh, with that, I'd like to also thank, I congratulate Matt, well-run campaign. I wish him the best. I, you know, we're one town. There's no politics here. It's all about what's right for Belmont, and the voters spoke. Fantastic, and I'm going to work with Matt. I'm looking forward to it. I have with me uh, Tim Duncan representing Hi. the No campaign. So now that the um, unofficial results are in, what's your reaction? Uh, not so good with the unofficial results, but no, we'd like to thank everybody that uh, voted no on the override. A lot of people worked hard to defeat the override, and the results aren't what we wanted exactly, but um, we're going to continue too much to ask.org and making sure that town is held accountable for its finances. So what are your reaction? What are you thinking? Um, well, we're thrilled and we're so grateful to the voters and we're grateful to all the volunteers who poured out hours and hours of time and effort and um, we're, we're happy for what this means for Belmont. Well, that's it's, uh, well, we're going to see what happens. I mean, you're going to have, you still have, uh, well, you're going to have to convince some people though, so it's going to still be a tough road mm -hmm. and the battle might be in, he's left a scene in the uh, town meeting. Chaired by uh, our new moderator, Mr. Whitmer, here again, or our continued moderator, Mr. Whitmer. Yes. I'm sure there'll be some type of debate on allocation. We'll see how the budget comes out there, but it looks like the town's going to get some more money. Yeah. And we'll see yeah. what they do with it. So uh, well, your, hard work, your hard work paid off. We know there's a lot of work left, and we know that it's not going to be an easy road, but we're optimistic about the future, and we're one Belmont. We will come together, and we will do the best that we can. Well, yeah, we always do. Yes, you did beautifully in all eight precincts. Congratulations. Um, thank you, thank you. Um, how are you feeling? What are you looking forward to for a second term? What are your thoughts? So, so it's funny because the first thing that came to my mind was um, much of I was watching earlier and much of what Matt and you were talking about and how much you learned from other people. And, um, and last week, I actually went to the Q Science Fair. Okay. And I had a fifth grade girl teach me um, how actually adding coffee to plants helps them to grow. And I, right. it's because it actually has nitrogen and calcium in there. Yeah. And uh, I didn't know this before. And so I, I will honestly say that, like, the excitement that hit me first of getting to continue on the school committee is that excitement of being able to just speak about and learn from all of the students that we have here in Belmont Public Schools and knowing that the override passed, really making sure that, um, that we are, that all Belmont Public Schools have the, students have the opportunity, um, you know, to teach us things and to, and to achieve what they all should. All right. yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well, good win. Um, and I think a tribute to your hard work for your first term. You know, you were kind of thrown into uh, a, just a lot. You know, the middle of the of COVID. Um, yes, we were getting money from ARPA and CARES and all the rest of it, but then you knew that was temporary. And so you always had to be looking ahead to how are we going to deal with the budget when that money goes away. And then, you know, here we are. What's what's happening with the enrollments? You've opened a, a big new school on Concord Avenue. So you've been dealing with quite a lot. We have been. And, uh, yeah, the last time that I ran um, three years ago and was elected, I mean, the override failed that year. So, yes. you know, my first meeting you go to, the override has failed. Um, and yes, to your point, I think I was asked to be secretary in that first meeting. So um, right. I'm, I'm always willing to step up, especially when it comes to public education. Uh, I'm really looking forward to not just maintaining what we have for our students right now, but certainly being able to invest um, in some of those initiatives that we've promised to the town. And I think that's the most important thing is that, um, you know, we've made some promises to the town. They've come through um, for us in, in passing this override. And now we really need to be um, held accountable and make sure that um, we come through with those 
those promises that we've made. All right, excellent, very yeah. good. Now, you've done, you started out as secretary. You've been chair for the last two years. Do I have. You go, are you going to be able to step back and take a breath? Um, I don't know. I'll have to, we'll have to, to speak see with what my, happens. you okay. know, I, it's, it's a, um, a, it's been a fabulous uh, group of people to work with. I look forward to uh, now having Matt to work with also. And, um, and so I just think we've, we've been a, a really good group. And one thing that um, shouldn't, that people should recognize is that every time that the school committee turns over, you have to develop relationships with one yes. another. And I've always said teamwork and relationships is really what helps get things done. Um, as well as a superintendent, a superintendent has to develop those relationships right. too. So I truly do believe that having some consistency is going to help us um, move things forward faster than otherwise. All right, good. Let's see if we can get. We have can Angus, get, and, Ang Angus, Amber, Angus, 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 come on in. Come on in. Your I was going to. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thanks, Angus. Yeah, we'll get Matt. Oh, we'll get Matt. All right. Okay. And Angus came by. Yeah. There you go. Come on, come on, you guys can share mics. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. All right. Let's start with Matt and Meg. Okay. Well done. Um, so yes, very much so. What? <laughs> so, what are you looking forward to now that you've won? What's going to happen next for you? Do you think? I'm looking forward to sleeping just a little <laughs> bit more. There's that. <laughs> I know there's a lot of work ahead. But you know, bad news. That's only going to be like a day or two until they reorganize. Just a and day or two. Your, your life is going to be consumed. <laughs> no doubt, but consumed with important work, and that's energizing in its own right. Okay. Very good. Well, congratulations. Now, Angus, welcome. Yeah. Glad to Thank see you. you. You're still on your feet, which is good after the uh, end We're of a need very to be. long day. Look, I, I started this campaign in September. We filed on September 25th. We, I didn't know either of these wonderful candidates were going to be in the race. Yeah. And, you know, we had a message to send about listening to people whose voices don't often get heard in town and about passing an override. And when I found out who I would be sharing the ballot with, I made a decision that involved spending $6,500 on materials that promoted not just me, but also that question one override, which we just passed. Now, I'm not taking credit here, but I am saying that we made a strategic call, that that race was more important. And I think that's part of what's borne out in the results. Okay. Uh, also, the impressive resumes of the two people standing next to me, who I congratulate wholeheartedly. We were in a very clean race, and that was really great to see. Now, the one thing I'll add is that the assessor question, we have a result on that board that's decided by 29 votes. I know. So far, these so, are unofficial results. So I am already talking to friends of mine about what the recount procedure would look like for that question. Now, I don't want to bring our community through a long and divisive process. That would be nice. But at the same time, we need to make sure that we are taking steps as fast and as effectively as possible to bring our town back on track for the structural changes we need for a sustainable, fiscally sustainable Belmont. All right, but what do you say to the people who voted no? You know, well, their, their view was, this is how it should be. I understand that completely, which is why our focus is going to be on making sure that every single vote gets counted and, and counted accurately. And so that we can ensure you know, a, a strong resolution to that question, we want to make sure that there's continued communication about why that move was taken, about the work that needs to continue on structural changes and on moving the town forward. Because you know, we cannot govern this town like an agrarian community from the late 1800s. And we've done a lot of work to modernize our government that, structures. <laughs> well, just, I, I just we've done a I, lot of work. Uh, okay, but you know, let's, we're not governing the town like an agrarian no. you know, uh, community. Sorry, we, we have moved into the 21st century. We've moved Believe into the 20th century, but I think there's still a lot of work left to do. So, here we go. So we got the results here. Get out of the way. Looks to be a pretty good victory. You haven't done the percentages, but a 900, 900, I'm sure you did the math already. 980 vote difference. It's hardening to have the vote of confidence in, uh, in my uh, work as a moderator all, all these years and in the campaign. So I'm feeling good about it. And I want to, you know, I want to thank the voters for that. Um, a lot of voters don't know what the moderator does. And part of the difficulty of any campaign like this is explaining the complexities of it. And, uh, but I think it came through, and I think the notion of my experience 
in the end was telling. So I'm very gratified. Well, you do, uh, you know, I joke that it's like herding cats because it's, it's a wide, diverse group. But you do keep the lid on it. The passions are there. But, uh, you know, you, it's... Keep it it's civil. It's an organized that, civil that's thing. That's all. You know, keeping things civil I haven't civil seen is... it reduce. I've been doing this a long time. And last time I looked, 36 years. And, and we'll see if, yeah. uh, you know, I haven't seen it degrade or no, it, it devolve into something, you know, crazy like you see in the parliament or some other governments in some other countries right, right. where they're throwing punches. <laughs> Many of the town meeting members, and this was very gratifying, sent emails to me, and then they also talked about it in the campaign and the literature about respect and fairness at town meeting. Right. And I've worked, as you both know, very hard at that. So that was that was gratifying that so many town meeting members expressed Well, that. and I, I think your endorsements mirror that. You had a yes. broad range from the political spectrum in Belmont. You know, all the different constituencies were supporting you. And I think that, that says a lot. It, they were, and that was very pleasing to me. And, I, and, and that's, yes, and that's a reflection of, of the kind of effort that I put into it. And it's interesting, on the appointments that I made, which was one of contention. One of the issues, this, right. One of the issues. I deliberately appoint people across the political spectrum. Oh, right. Because this is a committee that represents all of Belmont. Right. And as I stress, it's one town. So, but that can be uh, contentious. Yes, <laughs> yes. We say. yes. So now yes. we have, as a prize on the line, we have one Belmont Media mug. If you can name the moderator that preceded Dan Needham. Oh, no. We <laughs> so we got go you, with Henry Hall, no, Dan, Dan, Dan Needham. Needham. I know. Dan, Dan Needham. And that's where and I can't. We I can't don't go know. back. Oh, no. No mug for you. Like no, the no, Nazi. Oh, no mug no. for you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you one in. I'll yeah, slide you yeah. one. Right. I'll slide right. you one under the table. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So, so what's your first order of business other than sleeping tomorrow? Yeah, for sure. Well, we've got a planning meeting next Tuesday morning. We've already had one. So I began to plan town meeting because we couldn't wait. So uh, one of the things I've done early on is establish, create these detailed planning meetings. Which you know I know is a huge help. Yeah. You have no idea to be able to have all the various chairs and town employees, everybody involved in town meeting, to sit down at one table in there and say, how is this going to proceed? How are we going to unfold town meeting? And you really iron out a lot of potential problems and glitches at those planning meetings. We do in advance. And then each one, we get a little more Detailed. specific and detailed. Yep. And then the day before, two days before, we go through all the overheads. All the so there are just, yeah. just dozens and dozens of hours planning uh, town meetings. And that yep. wasn't always the case. Good. Well, I haven't looked at the warrant yet, but any uh, any 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 big controversial stuff do you think is on the uh, for the for the first session? The budget will be the second session. Yeah. We got new money. I'm sure that'll be a I haven't debated, but anything coming in like first session one? Not not too detailed. But uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, we have to wrap it up. Yes. Oh right. no. Thank you. I'm sorry. Oh, we have to wrap it up. We have to wrap it up. All right, we have to wrap it up. All right, great. Thank hey, you. Hey. I want a motion to adjourn. Do I get an extra 30 seconds? Yeah, why don't you, you do it? Do you, do you delay the clock? No, no, you already, you already, delay the clock? Why don't you already close, test me. Why don't you close tonight's show? Tell our viewers yeah. thanks for tuning in, and we're going to adjourn. Yeah, there you go. Thank you so much for tuning in, and thank you for your vote of confidence in me. Appreciate it. And now we adjourn our live coverage tonight at Town Hall for election, town election 2024. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's a wrap. Well done.